So, welcome to Cardio Fitness, everybody. You know the drill. I am Shannon from Fiddler's Elbow, and we've got a great 30 minute low impact cardio workout today. So, we're doing 30 seconds of jogging and 30 seconds of cross jacks. This is going to be a nice, active seven minute warm up, um, and we're going to go through a lot of different movements. So, um, we're going cross jacks next. You can do jumping jacks, full jacks if you want them. So, three, two, so our cross jacks are here, right? Or you can do full jumping jacks. That's up to you. So I'm going to kind of take it on the lower impact today to stay with our low impact friends. Awesome. We go into butt kickers next, which is going to go 30 seconds of forward pushing and then 30 seconds of overhead um, reaching up overhead. All right. I don't know where you're at today. You know, I always say that. that since the beginning, here we go with the butt kicker. So I'm driving my arms back and forward, still kicking those heels up. And pull and push, right? Pull and push, pull and push. 30 seconds here, and then 30 seconds with the arms overhead. Uh, and if you want, you can go, obviously, you can go a little faster. That's up to you today. Got to get my hands back into the rhythm here. All right, so today's Friday. February 12th, I think. All right, let's go overhead. So thank you for joining today. I'm super thrilled with my live participants. And uh, you guys keep me going. <laughs> keep me challenged, so it's awesome. So we've got after this front and rear uh, sort of hinge lunges. So we're gonna stay on the right side, forward and backwards for 30. Left side, forwards and backwards for 30. Five, four, Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Right leg forward, right leg back. Yep, so just stepping forward and stepping back. Awesome. 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. You want to do a little twist? Go for it. Ooh, all right. So, we got a good, we got three supersets, we got our back circuit, we got our cardio, and we're out today. But hopefully that nice, uh, three different supersets. We'll kick it into gear. Left side, right? So opposite leg, we're going forward and backward now. After this, we're going to do the 20 20 20, which is 20 seconds of front crunches, 20 seconds of squats, 20 seconds of big arm circles. I call them like arm swimmers. All right, so that's our next. We're breaking that minute up into 20 20 20. All right. Three, two, one, wide stance. Let's punch it out for 20. Then we go into neutral, so meaning feet or shoulder width apart. Neutral squats, and then some big arm circles. Really warm up the scapula, warm up the shoulders, warm up the arms. Four, three, two, one. Let's go into those squats, down and up. Squeeze, All right? Drive your heels through the floor, squeeze at the top. Just a nice air squat. All right. After this, we're going to hit the deck. We're doing from your four point or your plank position. All right. Now we got um, shoulder circles going forward for 10, shoulder circles going back for the last 10. Um, so, planks. Yep. Plank shoulder taps. Mountain climbers. 30 seconds of each one. You can do them the best you can from your plank or your four point position. Here's what I mean. Let's go into our four point position. Shoulder taps from here or from your high plank. Right? So push those hips down, tuck your tailbone, push through your heels. Or if you're in your four point stance, make sure that your knees are underneath those hips. Right? And we're still tapping. We're still pulling one arm up. And in 30 seconds, or less than 30 now, we're gonna go mountain climbers. So, I'll show you three, two, one, regular mountain climbers, you know we drive, right? If you are in that four point stance, I want you to do knee to the same elbow from your four point, right? There's your modified lower impact mountain climber. So everybody should be able to do something here. We're gonna stand in about 10 seconds, we're gonna do some lateral moves, right? We're going side lunges, and then we're gonna go long leg toe touches. Three, two, 
One, let's come up, back up on our feet. Right, we're gonna step out, so we're gonna do those side lunges. Load and explode, right? Ankle, knee, hips stacked over one side. And twisting, keep it going. So 30 seconds here, and then we go standing fully, and we're gonna bring those legs up and reach with our long arms to touch. We're gonna finish up with a little skaters and some fast feet. And then our warm up is finished. Three, two, one. Let's get those long leg toe touches going. So we got a little bit of everything in here today, didn't we? Woo! This long sleeve shirt is coming off, I will tell you that. So, twisting, right? You can just go straight ahead. You can get a nice little twist, twist that spine. Again, in 10 seconds, we go skaters and then fast feet for the last 30. Three, two, one. All right, so skaters, low impact. Right, just tap behind the front foot. Give me a hop with a little bit of a higher impact. Keep it going, y'all. Yep, and I like to twist. I like to twist that upper body. Gives it a little extra something. Really makes you feel like your momentum is really moving and we're pushing, we're loading every side. Right, if we're just kind of doing this, it's not really giving us too much, but when we really swing the whole body, then we get just a little bit more intensity, a little bit more of that heart rate going, and it feels really good. All right, here we go. So, fast feet. Let's hit the pitter patter. Drive those arms, move those legs, and stay low. How low, how low and how fast can you go? 15 seconds, come on. Ah, we can do it. We got less than 10. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. All right, take you get a minute here. Grab your water and we're gonna walk through our sets. All right, first one. We're going to, we call it an 80-20. So I'm gonna put 80% of my weight on my left leg and 20% of my weight on my right leg. I'm gonna pick up my heel just a little bit, right? So I'm gonna go squat. I'm gonna swing that leg around and I'm gonna squat. So same thing, right? So it's like a squat 80-20. That's our first one. Number two, bird dogs. So we're coming down onto our core points, right? And we are going to crunch. We're gonna do one side um, for the first round and then this other side for the second round. And if you want a little bit more, you can go up into a plank and you can kind of do the same thing. So a bird dog plank, you wanna make that more challenging. So we'll start off with those two right away and we'll get going. So here we go, 80, 20. We're going 40, 20, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off, right? So get that little heel up, squat, bring it around and squat. I'll show you what this looks like from the side. So I'm gonna squat, bring it around and squat. Squat and squat. So it's kind of like a, almost like a one-legged, but we've got that other leg there as a little bit of an offset for balance. We're opening it up nice and wide. Keep on moving, y'all. I know I'm burning out that glute in the back. Woo! Again, 80 20. Most of my weight is on that left leg. I'm trying to keep my torso nice and tall as I sit into that glute. Good. And let's rest right there. Woo! All right, we're going to come down in 20 seconds of rest. We're coming down into our bird dog. So you can really make this nice and hard by just crunching. If you have a dumbbell and you want to weight in your hand, Go for it. So we're going opposite. I'm going to go right arm, left leg, and I'm going to stay right here this whole time. Extend and crunch. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Extend and crunch. Again, if you want more, come up into a high plank. This is really hard. Inhale, exhale. Right, so I'm going to stay in my four point stance and just crunch and extend. Inhale, exhale. I'm really getting a nice crunch there. I'm still getting upper body stability for my shoulder. And I'm squeezing my butt. Three, two, one. Let's rest. Beautiful job. All right, let's stick with it. 80 20 on the other side. So now my, my right leg is going to go 80% of the weight. My left leg will be 
the 20. Ready? And let's go. So here we go. A little bit of staggered squat. Bring it around and squat. Out to the side, over to the back. Out to the side, over to the back. And again, my heel is up. So I'm just on the ball of that leg, left leg. So I'm really engaging my glutes, making a fist with your butt. Keep that core tight and the torso nice and tall. So my right leg is doing all the work. I'm driving that heel to the floor. I can even feel it. Put my hand on my butt. You can feel it. 80 20. Here we go. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, last one, bird dogs. We're gonna go to the other side. So my left arm is coming up, right, right arm, left leg. All right, it's just the opposites of what you just did. Again, four point stance or high plank, up to you. Here we go. And hit it. Extend and crunch. Inhale. You really bring that knee in and crunch. Round your back like we do in cat cows. Extend and crunch. Give it the whole full body here, guys. And this glute that we just worked, holy bananas, it's on fire. Halfway there. Extend and crunch. Four, let's see, where are we at? We're 30 seconds in. We got 10 to go. That's it. Extend and crunch. Three, two, one, and rest. Ooh, all right, let's give it 30 seconds here. We got circuit number two. So we're gonna go sumo squat with two pulses. Big sumo, feet are out. One, two, come up to the toes. One, two, if you wanna hop, you can do that too. That's your, that's your elevated uh, progression. Last, so the, the, the next exercise we're gonna do is a reverse lunge. Reverse lunge and lift that leg. So sumo squats, reverse lunges, let's hit our sumos. Ready and go. Sumo two pulses up to the toes, right? Dropping that knee to the floor. Get making a fist with our butt. Pulse and up. If you want that hop, that's a little bit of a higher impact. Yep. Pulse and to the toes. Woo, so really drive your heels on those pulses. Squeeze your butt and then up. Down and up. up. Good guys, hang in there. We've got another 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and rest. All right, so reverse lunge, rear leg lift. So we're gonna stay on one side. So again, it goes reverse lunge, lift. So we, we pop up to a single leg. Almost like a single leg hip hinge. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. I'm going back with my right leg and then I'm going to lift. So I'm going to turn to the side. Reverse lunge and lift. Lunge and lift. Lunge and lift. Bring that leg up. We want to. Today's a lot about the booty. If you haven't noticed, it's Friday booty day. And we don't have any burpees in here. Remember when we used to do No Burpee Friday? 10 more seconds, come on. All right, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that was a burner. All right, we've got 20 seconds of rest, 15 now, and we go to the other, we're gonna go sumo to the toes again. All right, we're back to our sumos with our toes. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Big sumo, two pulses to the toes, or two pulses with a hop. That's your progression. I'm gonna stick on the toes. You know what, today's Friday, my body's beat up, I'm a little bit tired. I don't know what I'm like, I don't know, I just don't wanna tax it. You know, so I'm just gonna listen to my body, which is what we should all do, listen, and what is it telling us? It's more rest. If you're hungry, eat. If you're thirsty, drink. Awesome, guys. We've got less than 10 here. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! All right. First one with the other leg. Reverse 
first lunge. Leg lift. Let's crush that little booty. We've got a few seconds of rest. Grab yourself a sip of water. We've got 10 seconds to go. We've got a quick sit here. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Reverse lunge and lift. Turn to the side. Lunge and lift. That knee is staying behind that toe. So my hips are on the rails. I'm going down and up, down and up. I'm kind of leaning a little bit forward as I come up into that lift. Driving that right heel through the floor, squeezing my left foot cheek. Good. Ten more seconds. Inhale, exhale. Exhale as you go up. Blow it all out. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, and rest. Oh, mama. All right, here we go. We got 30 seconds of rest. Here's our last superset. All right, staggered deadlift front kick. We've all done this one, but I love it because it stretches the hammies. Again, we're all about the booty today. Stagger stance right here. I'm going to bend over that front straight leg. I'm going to come up and kick. Right, so back leg is bent and kick. Last one we're going to do is mountain climber. So let's try it. And then mountain climbers, we're going to go one, two, three, three. One, two, three, three. All right. Back on the feet, staggered deadlift. Let's hit it. Bend forward, keep that back flat, and kick with your bent leg. Staggered, hip hinge. Hips are going back. My front right, front left knee is totally straight. That's a little bit off. It's not locked out. It's just a slight bend. So the hip hinge left is straight over that leg. I'm turning so that you can see every time that I go down, what it looks like. Right, I'm bending the, the one I'm kicking with, the other side is straight. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. All right, so let's come down to our mount climbers. Now remember, when we did this in our first round, our warm up, we will do one, two, three, three. Stay in your, stay in your tabletop. If you can't come up and go flank, if you can, let's go. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, three. You can try to switch or just, just try it. Whatever you can do. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, three. So here's what you're modifying. One, two, three, three, right? That would probably be your two, three, three. So we're still getting a crunch. We're still getting that two. Three, three, ten seconds. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, three. Two, one, and rest. That's a tough one. All right, we're going to do that staggered deadlift. Second side. So now my left leg is going to bend. My right leg is going to be straight. I'm going to hit hinge, come up, and kick with my left leg. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. So I'm hip hinging, come up and kick. Hip hinge and kick. You dumbbells, you want to hold your dumbbells? That's awesome too. I'm going to hold every palms facing my legs. So here's what that looks like. Hip hinge. My right leg is just barely bent. Very slight little bend. But my left leg, totally bent. Right? So hip hinge and kick. Hip hinge and kick. That's it, guys. Do your best. Whatever you can do with this one. You try to keep that back flat and really stretch those hamstrings. We've got less than 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's rest. All right, let's go back down and hit those mountain climbers. So if you're in your four points, right, we're going to switch legs. We're going to go one, two, three, three, or you're in your plank and you're going to mountain climb straight up. Right, and you're just gonna drive one, two, three, three. Here we go. Let's hit it. One, two, three, three. One, two, three, three. So do your best. Keep your back flat. Keep your hips down. Your tail tucked. Your shoulders over your wrists. It's about as much of the good form and advice as we can get. We're more than halfway there, guys. 
Less than 10 seconds. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, guys, 30 seconds. We're going to act. We finished our supersets. You guys rock. Thank you for being here with me. All right, three core exercises. Here we go. Jackknife toe touches, side plank crunches, single, single knee crunches. All right, these jacks. So big, um, what do you call this? Like a spread eagle. <laughs> so we're going to come up, shoulder up, and I'm going to try to reach for that toe. So I'm really going to feel that in my obliques and roll to the other side, okay? So we're alternating sides, and we're going to go side plank crunch. You're going to be on your hip, lower leg, and we're going to crunch up top. All right, and then the last one, a little knee pull in here on our butt, just like that. All right, here we go. Jackknife toe touches. Let's alternate side. 40, 20, get going. All right, so I'm going to try to roll up, give me shoulder, my whole shoulder really off the floor. Get that leg up nice and high. I'm keeping my back, my low back flat on the ground. And then relaxing my head every time I come through. Head, shoulders, I get a little fraction of a second, and we'll rest. And then I'm rolling up as high as I can to get that hand on my leg. That's it, guys. You got this. Come on. Less than 10 seconds to go. Woo! -hoo! All right. Five, four, three, two, one. And rest. All right. Beautiful. Let's get ready for our side plank. So you're on your side. I'm on my elbow, which is underneath my shoulder. And I'm going to basically push through my shin. Right? So I'm going to get that low hip off the ground. Here we go. My arm is extending long and I'm going to crunch up top. So let's go for a 40. Do the best you can. You need to come down a little bit. That's okay too. You're still getting a good crunch if you need to be on that hip. But if you can get up, go for it. Core is nice and tight. So this is one that you're going to feel it in both sides, right? So your lower side is stabilizing and your upper side is doing the crunching. We're more than halfway there. And I'm driving my shoulder down and back, right? So I'm gonna feel this in my cup underneath my armpit, in my like meaty part of my lats. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, here we go. Single, single, double. So we're on our little sits point, right? The bony part of our butt, hands are back, just at our sides. We're gonna lift those legs, we're gonna drive one, two, Three, do your best if you need to put your feet down, that's okay. Here we go, single, single, double. Single, single, double. And if the back hurts, give yourself a little hug. Maybe even try this. Single, single, double. If your back hurts, lay down on that back and really try to support it rather than sitting up if it's hurting too much. Yep, focus on those abs, come on. You can do this, I know those hip flexors are burning. Pull in that stomach even harder. 10 seconds. You can do anything for 10 seconds. We can will ourselves there. Five, four, three, two, one. You did it. Yes, you did. Awesome. All right, we're going to go back to our jackknife toe touches from the beginning. And then all we have left is cardio. All right, here we go. Spread eagle. And we're going to roll it up and alternate in three. Two, one, let's hit it. Get those shoulders and legs up off the ground. Woo! Feel the abs, feel it burn. Head goes down, head comes up. Right? So really lower everything down, bring it up. You want to have a little weight in your hand? Go for it. That's okay too. Grab your tiny little dumbbells. So I'm just trying to. Bring my leg up as high as I can, punch and really crunch through my ab. Crunch through that core, roll to the other side, feel in my obliques. We got six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! All right, other side for our hip plank, right? Our side, side plank, crunch, side plank, crunch. All right, again, shoulder is underneath my elbow. And what I meant was I'm driving my shoulder back and down. Right? So I really want to feel that underneath 
my armpit. That's where I'm trying to get my stabilization from, is that big meaty part of my lap. So my shoulder is out of my ears. It's not up here like this. I got a nice tall body. Again, if you need to be down on that hip, that's okay. But keep extending and crunching. Right, so lift and crunch. Come on guys, you got this. Keep that tummy nice and tight. Right, and if your low back starts to hurt, tuck your pelvis. Right, give me that pelvic tilt. Tuck your belly button to your spine. Come on, press, we got less than 10 seconds to go. Think for 10 seconds, yes you can. Yes, you can, and rest. Woo! All right, good class for everybody here. Single, single, double knees. Let's get this one again. All right, if again, you've got that little back issue, right, we're on the back. We're about to do a single, single, or we'll actually be double. So single, single, pull it in for double. Here we go, sitting up tall. If you can do it this way, let's hit it. Single, single, double. Whatever really works for you, that's where I want you to be. Because you're still moving, and that's amazing. Single, single, double. Yes, again, like I said, my hip flexors are hurting. We will stretch it on my crown at the end. I'm really trying to hold my core as tight as I can. 10 seconds, here we are, time to go. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. We're finished with our core. All right, beautiful job. We've got, we're basically gonna go for a minute and a half, take a quick 15 second rest, and we'll go one more minute and a half. So we literally have three more minutes of work, and that's it. So we're gonna go 30 seconds for each of our exercises. We're gonna go squat with a long leg toe touch. So squat, toe touch, right? So kind of what we did in the beginning, but now we're gonna squat and just burn out those hip flexors. We're gonna do Mickey Shuffle, one, two, three, one, two, three, and the last one we're gonna do is an in, in, out, out. In, in, out, out, in, in, out, out. All right, so nice little bit of cardio. 30 seconds each, ready to go. We'll take a 15 second break after the first minute and a half. Here we go. Squat with toe touches, let's hit it, 30 seconds. We got three minutes of work left. You can do it. I promise you will stretch those Hip flexors. Come on. In 15 seconds, we hit the icky shuffle. As slow as you need to, or as fast as you can go. Whatever works for you. Squat, punch, squat, lift. Here we go. Three, two, one, icky shuffle. One, two, three, one, two, three. Right? And you can go as fast as you need or slow. That's it. Shuffle to the left, shuffle to the right. It's a cha-cha. It's one, two, three. One, two, three. Move those arms. Yes, you can. All right. In 10 seconds, we go two feet in, two feet out, right? One, two, one, two. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so here we go. In, in, out, out. In, in, out, out. You can do this lower. Impact with your totally feet are on the ground, we're not jumping, and you're just kind of walking it out. Or get those knees up a little higher <laughs> on the balls of your feet. And we got 10 seconds, and we get a rest for 15. Come on, then we push the last minute and a half. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Beautiful. Let's take a 15 second rest, grab some water, we go back to our squat with those long legs protected. Mm. All right, we got five seconds and we got a minute and a half. Let's kick this guy's booty. Here we go. Squat with long and toe touches. Woo! Come on. You can do it. You can. You are. You're here. You're almost finished. A minute and a half away from stretching and enjoying your Valentine's Day Friday weekend. It's margarita time. Here we go, five, four, three, two, one. Take a shuffle, one, two, three, one, two, three. Cha-cha right, cha-cha left. Move it, feel those hips. Squeeze your butt, keep your core tight. Move it 
left and right. 15 seconds and we go in, in, out, out. Last 30. And I promise you, you are on your way out the door. Woo! Left, right, left, and right. Three, two, one. Here it is. In, in, out, out. Last 30 seconds. Let's crush this. Make it the best 30 you've done all day. Come on. Intensity, intensity, let's go. Come on, you wanna have those tight booties? Think about it, right? No more tight booties. We all want it. We can have it. You're almost there. Woo, five, four, three, two, one. All right, awesome. So let's hit the floor on our back. Let's stretch our little hips, little side to side. Shake out here, all right? And then we're gonna do that ankle knee. All right, right ankle, left knee, let's drop it side to side. So I always kind of mix this one up with the sort of uh, supine pigeon. That's the one where we thread the needle and we pull the leg into you. Oh my gosh, it's so tight. All right, other side, left. Ankle, right knee, let's go side to side, slow, right? Slow and controlled so that we're not jarring anything. And I promise that we can stretch those hip flexors. And you guys are such awesome sports. So let's pop up and get into our half kneeling position. And this is where we're gonna stretch. So take your, my right knee's down, my right arm is up. If your left knee is down, your left arm is up. Right, and what I want you to do is reach for the sky as high as you can and just drive forward. So relax your shoulders, drive forward, and now let's drive over to my left or your right and push those, just pulse, right? So you're getting a big stretch through the belly, underneath the armpit, all the way down to your knee. Oh, other side. All right, my left knee's down, my left arm's up, and I'm gonna pulse forward, back and forth. This is that hip flexor. This is that tightness. So I'm gonna go over the top. I'm gonna keep pulsing from here. Gosh, yeah, keep going. Awesome. All right. So we're gonna go do those uh, little cobras. All right, so let's get the cobras all the way down on the belly, hands over the side, then let's push up for four. Here we go. The worst push ups you've done, the best back extension ever. Right? Push out and up. Here's three. Last one, up and out. Nice, let's drop it into child's pose, decompress for three big deep breaths. All right, so awesome to have you all. Thank you for being here. Have a great weekend.